In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to design a food flyer even if you are a beginner, even if you have never designed anything before. And I'll be using our smartphone and an application called Pixel App. If, you are, if this is your first time on my channel and you're seeing Pixel App, well, it is a free graphic design application you can use on your Android phone. Just download it on Play Store. It's completely free. You know, once you download it, you can use this tutorial to start learning how to design. Now, let's move on with this tutorial. So now that we are in the app, you know, it's a, it has a very simple interface. You know, this is exactly what you will see if you open yours. Now, the first thing we'll be starting with is the background, you know, for this design. And I will click on this icon. Then I'll click on color and then I'll click on gradient. I'll add a gradient. I'll click on this and I'll add red. And I'll click on this and I'll add another color, another shade of red, a darker shade. So basically I have two shades of red. Boom. And then I have my background now is um, completed. Now, the next thing I want to do is to add the images of the food. You know, it's a food flyer. So, I want to add images of the food I'll be using, you know, in this flyer. So, to do that, go to your plus sign at the top of your screen right here. Click on from image to insert an image. Oh, sorry about this. Insert. Insert an image. Uh, let's click on something. So yeah, we have images of food right here. So I will start by inserting. Uh, I will insert this. But when you click on this, the next thing you do is to click on this circle. So when you click on the circle, it gives you the old circular shape, and then you click OK, and boom, you have your food flyer right here. And we're going to repeat the same process for maybe like two more images. So I'll insert this. I'll insert uh, this. Circle. And I'll have this. And then I'll insert one more. I'm going to insert um, one more food. Oh, I already inserted this, so let me start another one. Uh, I think I would insert. Hmm, let's insert this. Now we have just three images. I just need needed three images for this food. So scroll, scroll, and choose relative size. Now I want all the images to be the same size. So we're going to make sure they are twenty-five size twenty-five. This one too would be size 25. This size 25. Then right now we are going to add a um we're going to add a uh something called stroke on all the images. All the images. Yeah. And then we're going to add shadow to all these images. Now, watching this video for the first time might seem a little confusing. This is because you have never used Pixela before. However, if you get my course, I have a comprehensive course on smartphone graphic design and you can get the course using the link in the description. Check the description maybe right now or after you finish watching this video and you find the link there to access this course. It's, it, the course is not even expensive. It's quite affordable. So if you have this course, it has about 11 videos and then you'll be able to learn A to Z everything about smartphone graphic designer about being a smartphone graphic designer in fact you get mentorship from me so um watching this tutorial is is is, is helpful but if you want um a one-on-one -on -one, um experience with me you have to get my course and then you'll be able to learn more yeah that's just by the wayside so let's proceed right now i think um 
Um, I think red might not be the perfect color for this because of the colors of the, the food. So I'm going to change this red to green. So I'm going to change it to green. I'm going to change this to green. Yes, you can see this is what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to add our, our text. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to type Falana's food, Falana's cuisine. So I have Falana. I'm going to increase the size. Now change the font by clicking font. Yes, I have this. And then I'll add another text that says cuisine. Falana's cuisine. I'm going to change the font type to something else i would use uh let's say this i could use yes i could use this now i'm going to add some shadow behind this falana's cousin Then I have my Falana's Cuisine. Then I'm going to add something else. I'm going to add... Uh, I'm going to add Menu. So I'm going to click on this. And type Menu. change the font type to this something very very thin yeah menu then i'm going to add a shape i reduce my shape into a very thin line just beneath the menu exactly then I'm going to add my menu right now. So I'm going to... But before I do that, I'll add a shape, a square. And then I'll change the color of my square to what I call transparent and black. So just watch me. I'll click on gradient. I'll click on the plus sign. Right here, I'm going to make it black. While right here would be transparent. I'm going to drag this to this point and this. And I have my transparent. So I'll delete this and insert another image. And then just choose the already made color. Yes, and then I'll have this right here. Then let's insert our menu so let's just say rice and beans ego sea soup soup oh, let's say fried rice beans and plantain So we have our menu. I'm going to reduce this in size. Click on size to reduce. I'll make it like uh, 18. Looks perfect. Then I'll change the font type to this. 
then it's going to be here I'll duplicate this now and I'm going to add a bullet point bullet points basically I'll add um, six full stops arranged in this order like this then I'll scroll click on size increase size um, go to position bring it bring it to this point then I'll reduce the line spacing I would reduce the size a little bit then I bring it down then I'm going to leave it like this boom we have a beginner food flyer it's uh basically almost uh, we are already done we just maybe need to add a few more details and i don't know what that would be let's say like an address so we'll insert a location icon right now So add location icon this would be here it would be white I'll change the color to white then I'm gonna put in an address I'll just say um, Belfast Road, New York, United States. Of course, that's, that does not exist, but for the sake of this tutorial, I now have the address right here. Then let's put in like a phone number. So I'm going to type in the phone number. 90 and then I'll put it right here right now I'm going to change the font to this yes then I'm going to add one more detail contact us or visit us and I'll put it right here I'm going to change the font type to this boom and um, yes I can say we are done with this um, flyer exactly so yeah that's it so yeah if you learn anything if you have any questions use the comments and if it's your first time please make sure you subscribe to the channel that is actually very very important and um, yeah if you are interested in the course just use the uh, um, um, link in the description to talk to me um, yeah